that new span opened this afternoon to reconnect Hatteras Island with the mainland. Hurricane Irene washed out parts of Highway 12 along the Outer Banks back in August, and Chopper 10 shows the damage. People living along the Barrier Island were cut off for more than six weeks, and today's opening couldn't come soon enough. Then your size Jason Marks tells us why it is vital for this lifeline to be repaired as quickly as possible, Jason. Tom, before today, the only way off the island was a two-hour ferry ride. If you needed medical treatment, such as a broken leg, you were flown by chopper to the nearest hospital. But today, that's all in the rearview mirror, as residents are now able to drive themselves on and off. I've lived the Hatters all my life. That's the most exciting bridge I've ever come across. Chi-Chi the Chihuahua probably doesn't understand the significance of this car ride. The same can't be said for his owner, Danny Gray. This is something else to go across the bridge rather than that two-hour ferry ride. For the last 44 days, Gray, like everyone else on the island, had been only able to get off by ferry. Highway 12 was cut in four places after Hurricane Irene, the worst here on Pea Island. Today, construction workers are heroes. They've been working around the clock, and 44 days later, a temporary bridge is now in place. The community has come together. Uh, they're helping each other. Uh, we got a lot to build back together. We got a lot to put our lives back together. The rebuilding on Hatteras Island continues, and having this bridge is the first leg in that long road. What it means tonight is that you can get in your car and you can go to Nagset or you can go to Manio, you can go shopping, you can go to a movie, you can go to your doctor's appointment easily. Crews were able to fill in and pave over the other breaks in the road. You can see the difference a month and a half makes at Merlo Beach. People here not only lost touch with the mainland, but Dare County officials say millions of dollars in revenue was lost since the storm. September is an extremely valuable month in our economy, uh, very important to the Hatteras Islanders. The new bridge isn't pretty to look at, but it's never looked more beautiful to people here on the island. Just ask a man and his best friend. One of the greatest experiences I've had since I've lived on Hatteras Island. Now, the temporary bridge, as you mentioned, is temporary, meaning the, they hope to have some sort of permanent solution in five years. They'll say those plans are already being discussed. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.